Okay. All right. What we're going to do is this. I just, I want to show you something. Um, I want to show you something right here. <coughs> okay, there's an organic, there's some organic shit going on, if you, if you will. And what we're doing is, is looking at uh, the, when was the birthday of the internet? January 1st, 1983 is considered the official birthday of the internet. So let's go over here to Steve Jobs. I already did a video and I ain't gonna post it because I get too upset. But the word Steve Jobs, the word job has to do with Job. These people love rubbing scripture in our face because Job was tested. And your job takes everything away from you the same way everything was taken from Job. And so the internet, throw the illusion of this character away, is yet implying that this is going to yet rob your relationship eventually. At the end of the day with God, and it is, and the whole system set up under technology, which is not good. <laughs> But let's go with it, cause I'll get upset. He was fifty. He was fifty-six as well. And there were fifty-six signatures on the Declaration of Independence. Sorry, I'm a little hoarse from yelling, and I can't do that no more. All right, so let's go January first of eighty-three until when he died. All right. Now, this is very important, so pay attention. Okay, it's 1,504 days. Or, right there, right in the middle, 1,500 weeks and four days. So, what we're going to have is, is the number 154, twice, twice. This is what we're telling you is, is whoever they put out there, they probably couldn't change a fucking tire if they got, if something happened. And that's for real. So we've got 154. Now look, this is the whole thing. We're going to put in 27th of September in 1540 the Society of Jesus received papal approval okay so in 1540 and in numerology you take the zero out it's 154 alright not that one that's my other shit So what we have here is a huge Jesuit ritual. That's what that is. And seeing it's stuff like this that you've got to um, you've you've got to look at and see right quick. I can show you. Uh, March the 8th, which is the 8th of March, is 8, 3, or 3, 8. From the insurrection until then, it's three years, two months, two days, 3, 2, 2. But, I mean, I ain't into predicting shit. We can just go through and show you. It's like this right here. When, when that Floyd thing happened, 
which is all scripted. It was in what, 20, twin, twin? Until the Georgia election, which we called it. <coughs> Thirty-two weeks and two days. Three two two. That's the reason that we knew something was gonna happen in Georgia too. And it wasn't just that, it was all kinds of shit. You know, with uh Biden. because um, remember Joe Biden got his shot on TV at three twenty two on the money. And we ain't gonna go keep going back and showing you skull and bones. There's no sense in that shit. And the Bavarian Illuminati. Real quick. When did Kobe come into the world? In seventy eight? Was it? Well his birthday is August the twenty third. So when he came into the world, check this out. He came into the world around the Bavarian Illuminati's birthday. Check it out. From 5-1 until he was born. How many months and days? Three months, 22 days. So they're off the rip. He's a skull and bones, baby. He's going to be trained and given languages. And so everybody go, yes, how smart he is. Yeah. You see how smart I am? And then from, so he comes in 322, and then of course he dies on 126, which is a big number of these fucking people. Uh, one of the Honda dealerships here in Chattanooga opened on June the 12th, the 12th of June, which is 126. It is so fucking stupid. Because <laughs> I know the people are, uh, that are doing all this, it upsets them when I say shit like that. But I'm not, I gotta quit yelling. I did yesterday, and it's fucking hurting. Okay, so, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Oh, Kobe, that's right. All right, so, he came in to the world, 322. And he can go out three two two. So from his birthday until he went out, three days, twenty two weeks, or twenty two weeks, three days. And it's just like Floyd, thirty two weeks, two days. It's crazy. Um but see one of the reasons that we are kind of worried because uh all hell's gotta break loose before election. All hell's got to break loose. So if we're going to look at that until Kamala Harris's birthday, it's 32 weeks and two days. So from then until then, it's 32 weeks and two days. And there's a bunch of other shit, but I don't feel like getting into it. I don't want to leave you. I just want you. That's what I'm saying. If you're sitting there, you know, scrolling, it's like all you got to do is go over to here. All right. That's satanic gematria right here. Damn it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Now. We've already shown all kinds of shit. But look, this is, they do it right in front of you. Right there it is, Satanic Gematria 666. And then your birth certificate represents commerce. There it is. And they, they love telling you this is about Jesuits. Jesuit on CNN, baby. Right there it is. And see, science did that. That's Saturn. 
And when you key in 303, it's 66. <laughs> they never thought some dummy from the hospital bed would ever. But then again, this little grid they've laid over all of us, it's pretty rare that... <coughs> It'd be just like a farmer that's raising his boy to be a damn farmer and he just ain't gonna fucking be a farmer. He's got all the damn resources in the world. And then the damn farmer, one of his boy's buddies is the one he's wanting to have that. Do you understand? And that's what sort of happened with me and these people that control us. Cause They have people around them too. They're raised. They're listen. They run it all. They're they're mingled in with us. They lie. They're trained at a very early age to not have a conscience. They're taught that we're very gullible and stupid people. We'll believe anything, and they're they're conditioned on that. That's why people look so confident. It's not them because see. The thing is, is these very evil people know that once you get people to start lying to people, then it becomes addictive. Just like drinking and shit like that. And then that spirit, just like alcohol, the spirit of deception, which is a Luciferian, takes over. And then the ego starts to build, which is of lower nature. And then that ego develops into a false deity. And these fucking people that create them, they don't give a damn. They're goy just like us. But in their world, they're they're given this thing to where they, you know, they're going to inherit something there. It's a current. I've debated in my own head for a long time about what the, like, you know, there's some information that they do not want us to know. But there is some information. If you did know, you wouldn't put it together. But this current, I mean, you're listening, guys. These people die for this, for the cause. Baseball, the whole term sacrifice fly to get home comes from the Vatican. Yeah, because anytime somebody's sacrificed, it goes home to the Vatican. It's crazy. You can put up four baseball fields inside of one of those uh, symbols on front of the churches and everywhere. It's Listen, it's good for you to know this stuff. Ain't nothing going to change. But you need to know this. You need to know those people that you've been around, and it doesn't matter if you're high up in any career or some shit, government, whatever. The ones that are overconfident, that's the ones that I'm talking about. The ones that are acting like ain't nothing fucking wrong in the world, you know, coming in changing shit. Well, they've been given orders. You know, they have generals, they have elders and shit that they have to comply, just like we do in a hidden way. It's disgusting, though, that, that they, they come through this life and live a false reality when it comes to acting like they're for Jesus God, anything positive when they're not, then they're the fucking virus. But, anyways, you need to know that how they do rituals like that. Let's see what uh, Jobs was. Let's see. I can't remember what it was. Five, one. It doesn't matter when he was born. We'll just say the year he died. Excuse me. All right, ten five. All right, let's see. Of course. <laughs> Can you see it? I covered it up. You think they didn't make that calendar and pick those days for that date right there? I knew what it was. I just wanted to show you. So from May the 5th, which is 5-1, until the 5th of October, which is 5-1, come on, everybody. Let's say it in unison together. It's three days and 22 weeks because that's how cool they are. 
You see how dead that I really am, though? <laughs> they say, they tell you there's nothing hidden in this world. And so when somebody finds it, people have, but they ain't found it like we have. We've penetrated. I've said this before. I can. I. I listen. I can. I. If. If you. I can't share it on social media because it's just. It's too graphic. It's way fucking graphic. But that's what they do. You have no idea the spirit world. Artery blood, venous blood, veiny blood. Those produce a different vibration yeah and, and you you don't understand that's like we're dealing with principalities these are real demons in their consciousness they're not human they're not human it's crazy as shit and they're not it is fucking crazy trying to think of how much that I could say but it's, it's really not worth it because I'm showing you enough right here and see Kobe died around the same numbers 157 days 157 is the 41st prime and he was 41 and 41 is the 13th prime and Giovanni was 13 so it's just uh, and what they do is, is they live these lives that they control here are like from something up there because when you really know scripture Jesus cast the pigs and shit and it went to the water because it's electric Satan knows and that's why the symbols are so important to Satan because inverted symbols unlock within the consciousness not only Arimon but Lucifer it, it, you know so you create this Luciferic and Arimonic being at the same time. The one that lies to the beings that don't know they're lied to. And, neither, and one of them even know who God is or nothing. One is drunk on so much pride of lying to people. And see, and they give awards out to the biggest lie. It's an aggregate of a con. It's a congregation. And I love them, but it's your, you know... If you go, you need to learn how to uh, grab some of the positive shit out of it. Because in any of the damn sermons, they're going to have one or two or three sermons. One for the dummies, one for the initiates, and then another one for the brothers. And saying, this is what's coming. Well, that's the code of silence. They, they give each other orders through their headlines and parentheses, and then they go to their gematria, and then at all the numbers tell them what's coming. You know, get ready for this and this and this, and, and they do that. And it's not hard to see it, but the whole thing is, is you got to cut the world off, and people can't do that. They can't cut the world off. In my experience going through boot camp, we didn't have TV. We didn't have TV in one of the rehabs and in other places. And all that experience helped me to where I am now. And it's crazy. It's, you tell people, it's like, quit fucking. It's like, watch the shit to see the symbols in it. Watch something that is, it's all meant to persuade you and to control your thoughts. You know, and this fucking thought police shit is real. They're going to start telling children, listen, if you think that your parents are fucking thinking like wrong, you tell us. We're the thought police. Watch the damn 1984 movie. It's on Prime Video right now. From It's 1984, come out 85, I think. Yeah. One of the guys in it's like, I'm glad my daughter said that, you know, she called the thought police and I was really thinking bad, so hopefully they don't kill me. You know, so if you don't go along with this fucking Nazi agenda of all these groups, then you're going, me and you both, we'll be in, we'll be in these FEMA camps. If we're alive, 
Because before it all goes to shit, they got to vote on the guns. And that will fucking literally go crazy. They're raising all these stupid, harmonic, young Disney brains. Yeah, and that's why the TV's in the schools here every morning. There's no shooting. There's no shooting. There's no shooting. There's no shooting. And so as they get older, they're fucking dumb as shit. Go tell them to tie a knot. Go sweep the floor with a broom and they'll just go, Hey, fuck you. It's like, that's America. And that's the leaders raising those harmonic stupid beings. Just go have sex. Go fuck off. Just do whatever you want. And that's not America. That's harmon. That's disgusting. But now you know how real gematria is. You know how real the rituals are. You know, there's plenty of people doing the shit like that, but I don't push it all the time because it can consume you getting into this. You know, and truthfully, I feel strongly predicting shit years ago around here stopped some shit, and it has stopped some shit, the knowledge that I do have, because I've done the psychological warfare that would come if I just died like people do with them. Yeah, they just died of some weird fucking cancer. Well, for one, the, the motherfucker would be packed out because nobody, people listen, but, you know, people would, you, y'all just, you don't understand. They can't have that. They can't have people feeling horrible that they never listened to a man. They didn't even give them five minutes. And they know what that psychologically that that will weigh on them and they eventually will. So as long as I'm kept alive, and looking crazy while they're out fucking off and doing whatever, being Arimon. And I'm showing you real evidence. It's insane. It's like we're giving you the real evidence. We're showing it to you. How they do it. And why they do it. Because Ignatius Loyola is what it's about. In Skull and Bones and 322. 223. And you just, the people can't put it together. It's just, it's just like, man, he's crazy. Don't listen to him. And you're like, but look, No. No. It's like the ones, the engineers, the young ones, when I challenge them. You know, I'm like, come watch the moon cycle with me. No. I'm like, why? So you want to learn inside about outside? I'm fucking confused here. You're crazy. And I'm like, (laughs) you know, we're on our own, though. And that's the whole thing is, is they've gave the dumbest fucking people. This harmonic being that they've raised, they've, they're giving power to it. The one that's like, ain't nothing wrong with fucking dating a little four-year-old. There ain't nothing wrong with it. It's coming. It's coming, all of it. It's slowly being relaxed. While well, everybody's out fucking off right now. They're out right now, fucking off, right now. Me and you, what are we doing? We're in here watching videos, fucking listening to each other, reading and shit. That's what you do. That's what people of God do. And they'll look at you and go, they don't know Jesus. (laughs) And there goes that five-year-old harmonic mentality. And it could be your family member, your loved one, or whoever. That's what sucks about this is, is because depending on who you are and what you do financially, you get out of this fucking matrix and you still are controlled by Ariman and Lucifer. Because they ain't nobody. Ariman's, Ariman cannot fucking discern shit. Ariman can't listen. Ariman cannot throw all oh, everything that they think is real. Just throw it away and just do some research. They can't do it. There's nothing. We're not saying get rid of your beliefs. We're saying, look, and you can't. You refuse to. So the impulse of the world we already know outweighs. And impulse, Google it. There's over 19 verses that say impulse in there. So the impulse of technology, which is harmonic intelligence, outweighs the impulse of Jesus Christ. That's the whole thing. Satan's got to create all these impulses that have to do with materialism, which is harmonic food. Should be easy. Should be very simple, but it's not. It is not. These people are in this nasty fucking habit of sorcery and black magic. Of getting up and repeating absolute insanity day after day after day 
after day. They cannot see that the connection, and that's the thing, is Satan wants to send you to the other side with so much bullshit in your consciousness. Because when we die, this is a RAM, the cerebram. This is where the memory is stored in the computers because it comes from us. So when we die, it's like a dead phone. The memory is still in there, but it transfers to the other side. And then the what's in here becomes a mural. And then you get to see your existence. Now, when you see a mural of your existence, what is it going to show? Is he going to show you running in there every night going, hey, crazy? Hey, <laughs> yeah. Or is it going to show you being a fucking warrior? That's, that's your resume that you're going to take as your consciousness. And they don't want you to know that. Should make sense. Here, little three-year-olds. Here. You got fucking parents buying one-year-olds little headphones. Here, just put them in your ear. Destroying the eardrums. Here, let's put destroying the retinas. Ari Marn is about to be fully unleashed in the next five to six years. We'll be fucking fully unloaded into communist Nazi fucking camps here in America, redistributing the wealth, saying, where, where's that? This ain't quality while the brands, slave traders, are still making trillions of dollars getting the stupid harmonic goy beings they created from birth with their technology to do it all for them. And I won't fucking be here. They'll, they'll get tired of my shit by then. I love you.